I personally think that that needs to happen regularly, where we're having opportunities to connect and just give each other the vitamins. <laughs> In the class, we call them hug vitamins, where the kids go and um, they give each other a hug. They ask, do you need a hug vitamin today? And they'll go around and ask the staff. And I think we need to do that too. I think we need to kind of um, have more opportunities to connect to each other as human beings that are working um, with children and that are getting stretched very, very thin. Um, because there's a lot of a lot of stress and the workload is humongous um, and so we can get burned out very easily and a lot of the times teachers we feel quite insecure about what we're doing and it's so attached to our identity that when things don't go well it hurts us. like it physically hurts and so we're th constantly going what did we do wrong and so by having, um, and after a while, these are like little traumas over and over and over again. It just feels like you're getting pecked at by a bird. And at some point, it, it will all fall apart and you have people having breakdowns. Um, so if we could find a way to connect to each other more often where we're going, you're doing great. Like, I, whatever place that you are right now, you're doing great. Same way I was to say, say to a kid, where you are right now is exactly where you need to be. And I would like that to happen. Basically, all the, everything that we're doing for the kids, if we apply it to ourselves as teachers, that's what, that's what really needs to happen. So one of the things that I have at, actually at the entrance of my door is an African proverb that says, um, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And that's basically what we do in that classroom. And it works very well to do that as a village.